Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Aatrox here in Season 11. He's by no means a high tier, but you can still win with him if you're playing him correctly. We have Conquer Triumphant, Alacrity with Last Stand, Ravenous and Sun Impact. You want your first Q to land from Tipper Range like so. Then you're gonna auto attack Q, back up, auto attack Q. Try to weave in an auto in between each Q if you can. You're gonna get your passive on a much lower cooldown by mixing in your autos. And your passive will get on a much lower cooldown by landing the uh, tippers of your Qs as well against large monsters and champions. Fun fact, play a tipper, and with this, auto attack Q, and your passive gives you extra damage on your next auto attack, extra range, and healing, so it's a really good passive. It's mostly for trading in lane, it's still nice to have as a jungler to keep your HP up. If you want to play a more meta version of Aatrox, I would highly recommend something like Kane or Zin Zhao, they'll be much easier to play much easier and a whole lot less finicky and I'm mostly auto down the big one we're gonna Q E back auto attack Q auto attack Q just like so and then typically after your three camps you gank uh, we could potentially go bot lane honestly and get a double here you, if you want to clear you can only really do five camps and then scuttles up so Aatrox is not a full clear jungler. I think he seals down actually. Got him. And auto attack W point blank range. Cure. Hit killer with our last auto. Getting those two kills was really big. Even though we threw off our clear a little bit. We basically missed out on two camps for two kills. It's worth though. Uh, even just one kill. Missing out on two camps is pretty good. Especially early game to get our nice back. I'll attack Q, E. Generally against champions, you want to Q, then E. You only W once you land a knockup or once you know you can land it. It's kind of like throwing out a Blitzcrank hook. You don't want to throw it too early because that's what they'll be trying to dodge. If you do land it, you'll get a lot of extra damage in CC. Because Ed really shouldn't be roaming like this. He's roaming way too early. He just needs to come back to his lane. Looks like he's looking for the Amumu right now. If you're in a neutral area, you don't want to waste your W on a monster. It's got a really long cooldown. We're going to EW him here in a second. I'm hoping he goes to flash somewhere. Kill him with our auto attack. Back. Knock her up, kill her. See how we're weaving in constant auto attacks. It gives us a lot of extra damage. We're having a pretty good start. It's very rare you're gonna get more than maybe one or two kills in your first clear. It's just uh, like a Mumu is really, really weak, so you can't really do a whole lot. And I missed my ward over the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and back. On your first back, you wanna be looking to get Iron Spike Whip. Pretty consistent to buy on Aatrox. And uh, at that point, you kinda wanna get tier two boots. I'm actually gonna go for Ionian boots. I think they're pretty good on Aatrox. Play to Steel Caps are really good as well. Their team, they have a lot of uh, AP and CC, so. Merc Treads would have been a great option here as well, since I am ahead. We're gonna just go for the Ionian Boots and see what we can do. If we need to, we can sell these later. For your runes, if you need to play it safer, don't go for Alacrity, go for uh, Tenacity instead. Passive already almost back up. Each auto attacks two seconds off of it. And each Tipper Q is four seconds, which is pretty good. I'm gonna auto attack back up Q, auto attack Q. Auto attack E reset. Use a nice little auto attack resetter. Generally use your E just to land your Q though. Unless your Q's on cooldown. Auto attack Iron Spike Whip reset. Against champions, you generally use Iron Spike Whip when they're outside of your auto attack range. Or you just use it as an auto resetter in your combo. Generally you want to stay on top of them with your autos for as long as possible though. We hit that one guy over the wall with our Q, so we know they're gonna come to us like this. So we could just land the rest of our Q combo. Oh, uh, where's he going? I need Oracle lens. I shouldn't still have my warding totem. It's a mistake. Oh, I'll just go for Dragon. The Moomoo's not gonna be here. Taking Dragons is doable on Aatrox because of his high healing. Plus, you can land all your Qs against it really easily. Landing all three Qs against ranged monsters like Gromp and Dragons is pretty consistent. You can land those tippers for the extra cooldown. 
haven't bothered using my E just in case the enemies start coming. There we go. Still pretty healthy. Eat these fruits. I think I'm only, I we just saw him top lane. You do want to try to snowball and end the game before I, everyone has two to three items. I know that sounds very early, but uh, believe me when I say Aatrox falls off really hard. It's really bad once he falls off. And auto attack. Iron Spike quick reset. We're going to start banging out these Qs. Now we're going to go bot with our R. We hit level 6 before 7 minute 30, which is a little irregular. You're generally aiming on Aatrox day before 8 minute mark. You can hit it this early though, that's pretty good. We're going to keep mixing in our autos. Auto attack Q. Auto attack Iron Spike Whip. Very nice. Aatrox is completely tempo based. Even though he's not meta and he does fall off, if you can get a kill or two early. You can do disgusting stuff like that with your movement speed. And whenever you get a killer assist on your R, it gives you more movement speed. And obviously when you're on your R, you get extra attack damage. So it's just really hard for people to generally deal with. Be moving on to our Herald coming up here. Whenever you are ahead as a jungler, particularly a uh, jungler who doesn't scale well into the late game, you're going to want to secure herald right when it spawns in which is eight minute mark <laughs> as long as you get it before a 13 minute mark it's fine though if you get it later than 13 minute mark you're not gonna be able to get the second herald because it's on a six minute respawner and it ends at the 20 minute mark so 13 minutes is really when you want to have it by at the latest for the first one any later than that and you'll pretty much lose access to the second one which is really really bad it's gonna be hard for you to end the game at that point Oh, there's a Moomoo. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. We have a lot of healing. He's dead. We just got R resets as well. I'm gonna smite him early. I have another smite charge anyway. So looks like he's gonna help me with this. It's pretty nice of him. I'll attack, get our Qs down so we can abuse our passive. Oh, I think we only got the eye once there. We're doing so much damage with the Mordekaiser. It's very good. Uh, we don't have a fresh red buff, so I think Gamumu's red buff is actually still up. We should probably back here in a minute, though. We're sitting on a lot of gold. Back to full health. One cool thing about Aatrox, got a lot of healing like the Warwick. I need to get this into the bush. We have a higher level smite than Amumu. He hasn't smited enough yet. He might have AFK'd because he should have been here by now. Get our Qs down. <clears throat> e over the wall. You can E over any small, medium, or thin wall on Aatrox. It's one of the cool things about this champ. And you can Q, obviously, Q during your E and E during your Q. You blue smite him. He doesn't have R either. Alright, we got his flash. That's fine. I want to buy anyways. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Gore Drinker. And Gore Drinker into Dead Man's would be really good. Or just Gore Drinker into Sterics. You do need movement speed on this champ though. Like his R gives a lot of movement speed, but whenever your R is on cooldown, it can be really hard to gank. So our R's up, we'll just look straight for the gank here. We could probably get a triple since they're low and Kata's pushing in. Yeah, this is probably a triple for us. Hopefully Soraka stays alive. Ooh, Soraka went way too deep. She should just let the other guy keep tanking. I wish Soraka would have just waited. Knock her up, auto attack. She's dead. I had to waste everything though. I had to use flash. I didn't really want to. It's all right. If you want to lay your herald before the 14 minute mark, you want to lay it once there's about two and a quarter plates. 
Wish a Moomoo wasn't here. It's kind of annoying. So you can get over even with that medium wall there. Just go for the dragon. You only, like I said, once it's at two and a quarter, the herald can one shot. Otherwise, it's just not really worth. You want to get first turret with it and get turret plates. You don't want to just use it to get two turret plates by that, it by itself. That's not a very good use of it. We're all attacking in between our queues. We missed that last queue though. That was kind of sloppy. Finished him off. Should be able to grab these real quick to maybe do something mid. Auto attack Q and the whole camp's dead. This is how Aatrox tempos. Once you get some gold, your clears get insane and uh, your ganks are pretty solid too. Got our flash, it's really good. Go ahead and break this down. And then we will go for our Mumu's blue buff. I'll act like I'm not going there. Vision wards give vision for like two or three seconds after they break, so. Don't, don't want to always push too early for them. And I know he's coming over here for this. Yeah, he smited it. Got my gold drinker. I'm just going to have to E out here. I wasn't getting any assistance whatsoever. <laughs> Zed roamed top and bot lane was uh, preoccupied. But we survived with a gore drinker and just kiting. I'm gonna have to lay my herald. They killed Draven, might as well lay it now. We can try to get a bot lane before the 14 minute mark. We should have had our Oracle lens by now. I'm gonna grab red buff real quick. Herald's on its way. Mix an Arco Drinker, E reset. There we go, got a red buff. The owner's back, I don't think I can get to her in time. That all I could. I, I had no choice, I kinda had to lay the Herald. It's not gonna be a very pretty hit. It's not gonna be able to kill turret. It's gonna get down to like one and a half, or one. Now it has a bunch of extra armor and magic resist since we were breaking plates. Cat is gonna be coming bot side here. She thinks I'm going for wolves, or she thinks I just left, most likely. Okay, no, this is actually warded. I take it back. That sucks. I should have used my Gore Drinker. I might have been able to live. I am kind of surprised this Tri-Brush would be warded, considering the enemy bot lane has been playing so far up, and uh, they haven't been dove a single time. Under turret. That's my bad, though. That's why you need Oracle Lens. So when you do go for plays like that, they turn out. It's really bad tempo for us. Now uh, the enemies are gonna get a bunch of shutdown gold from that. I'll show up at a moon's red buff. Maybe we can do something there. It's going for my wraps. I think we are gonna have to get rid of Anioni and boots for these team fights. The moon was to see alone. He's got roughly, I think, four seconds of stun. And then Leona's got around three seconds of stun and a second and a half of snare. So. Absolutely shredded that. Yeah, Moomoo is coming for his red buff. I'm gonna try to come fight him. I wish Zed would go back mid to preoccupy Kata. He's just. He's over that. You're kind of annoying me, Amumu. Just trying to get as much damage as I can. I can heal back off off these. Got his flash. It's really good. Yeah, I got you now, buddy. on top nice just had to stay on top of them with the cues 
You can Q flash, you can Q E to help land it. You can use your blue smite to help land it as well. I think that little golem's gonna mess up his back. That's unlucky. And that's GG, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little Aatrox Jungle commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.